Hey, beautiful friends, Jakey here. As you can tell, I'm sitting in a car in a parking lot with this adorable little girl, Rozzy. I get to hang out with her for a little bit while Jelena, my daughter, and her partner, Emily, are meeting with an oncologist. We're at the cancer clinic right now, and Jelena finally received her diagnosis. It's been pretty much two months since we first heard the word cancer in relation to all of the pain that she's had in her hip for months. Ewing sarcoma. It's a rare type of bone and soft tissue cancer that most often is diagnosed in children. Um, and yeah, just Jelena's 23, so pretty rare. We've been told already that chemotherapy radiation and surgery are on the docket and then rehab she has not really been able to walk she's been walking with crutches a little bit as as little as possible and so there's been some atrophy in her leg and whether she's going to need a hip replacement we'll see we'll find all of that out but it's going to be a full year of getting her back on her feet literally I've had a lot of people ask me whether I'm okay with her choosing Western medicine. People assume actually that I am against Western medicine because I didn't choose it. I had, I went through the whole Western gamut in 2007, the first time that I was diagnosed with cancer. And then when the cancer came back in 2016, I chose not to go with Western medicine. And I didn't choose it because I was against Western medicine. I chose it because intuitively I knew that it wasn't the right answer for me. As a matter of fact, I sat with the question of would surgery benefit the healing of my body? I sat with that question, meditated on that question probably about once a month for a good year or two. I was willing to do surgery if it was going to benefit, but it never felt light, so I didn't choose it. My daughter and I had a conversation a couple of weeks ago where she said to me, Mom, I thought maybe you were gonna put up a bit of a fight in regards to me planning on choosing Western medicine. And she says, and I was gonna stand my ground with it. And I said, good, good, I'm glad you were planning on standing your ground with it, and I'm not against it. What I am for is choosing from your intuition, what feels right. And then she said to me, you know, mom, five, six years ago and beyond, she says, when I think of you in regards to something like Western medicine, I have a vision of you with like this clenched jaw. And I was like, wow, yeah, I had so much resistance to Western medicine back then. And why don't I anymore now? Because I surrendered. I surrendered, I let go of that resistance. And as a result of having let go of that resistance, I actually avoided having an altercation with Jelena, with my daughter. Being at peace with it, I am able to be a much better support for her than if I had been against it. Because my resistance would have projected onto her it would have created more stress in her and in our relationship and that would not have benefited anyone this is how powerful surrendering really truly is as a coach i actually coach numerous women who are undergoing western treatments and i support them whatever feels light to them that is what i support and recommend for them to choose. And I know for some people they worry about, you know, well, I, I don't really know how to tune into my intuition. And so I sit with that. I, I teach my clients that actually to become more aware of their intuition, to learn to listen to that part of themselves. And of course, meditation is a big part of that. Mindfulness is a big part of that as well. It's a muscle that as you practice it, you get better at it. And then 
It's about trusting it. And that trust is probably one of the most difficult parts of it. And it took me some time, for sure. My intuition would speak to me all the time and I wouldn't always follow it. And if you've read my book, I actually wrote about that, that I had this pivotal moment in Mexico about three years ago where yet again, I didn't listen to my intuition. I didn't listen to that little voice and it blew up in my face. And at that point I said, okay, when that little voice pipes up, if it says jump, I say how I, how high. I will follow it no matter how uncomfortable it makes me, no matter how outrageous it may be, I'm going to follow it. And I have for more than three years and it has served me well. So my message to you is to tune in and start to practice that muscle and then dig deep, find the courage to trust your intuition and follow that. And any resistance that you have, be it Western medicine or, you know, be it in a relationship or towards education or towards government or whatever it may be that you have resistance to, that resistance lowers your vibration. It puts you in fight or flight and it does not serve you. Surrender it. And from that place of surrender, you're at peace with it and you can move mountains from that place of peace. So thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, a little Rosie, sleepy Rosie. Hey, hey, can you say hello? <laughs> Have a fantastic day. Much love. Bye-bye.